practice session task. Define the message and encryption key. Encrypt the message. Read the current date. Check if the current date is before the target date. Decrypt the message. And print the decrypted message. Note. As usual, the used variables are arbitrary, and I will use the concept of the Caesar cipher for encryption in this tutorial. Pause the video and take your time to solve the task, then come back to see my solution. We start by defining the plain text message that we want to encrypt. Here, the message is. This is a message in a bottle. Next, we set the encryption key. The key determines how many positions each character in the message will be shifted in the Caesar cipher encryption process. We define our encryption variable with an empty string. Then iterate over each character in the plain text message using a loop. For each character, we check if it is a lowercase letter. If all characters are lowercase, we apply the Caesar cipher encryption by shifting the character's Unicode value by the key amount. We use modulo 26 to wrap around the alphabet if needed. In the script, the value 97 is used as a reference point in ASCII encoding. In the encoding, the lowercase alphabet characters from A to Z are represented by consecutive integers starting from 97 for A, 98 for B, and so on, up to 122 for Z. In this line, cipher byte minus 97 converts the ASCII value of the character cipher to a value between 0 and 25 by subtracting 97, as explained earlier. Then, plus key adds the encryption key value to this result. Adding 97 back at the end of the expression ensures that the resulting value is shifted back into the range of ASCII values for lowercase alphabets. This step is crucial for correctly mapping the encrypted characters back to their respective alphabetical positions in the ASCII table. The line encrypted underscore message equals encrypted underscore message double dot cipher. Appends each encrypted character cipher to the encrypted underscore message string. This accumulates the encrypted characters one by one, effectively building the entire encrypted message. We use the osDate function to get the current date in the format year, month, day. 
only integers. The current date is stored in the current underscore date variable. We compared the current underscore date variable with the target date 20240301. Means, March 1st, 2024. If the current date is before the target date, we print a message indicating that the message is still locked. Otherwise, we proceed to decrypt the message. If the current date is on or after the target date, we proceed to decrypt the message. The decryption reversing the process in a similar way. Iterate over each character in the encrypted underscore message using a loop. For each character, check if it is a lowercase letter. If it is, apply the Caesar cipher decryption by shifting the character's Unicode value back by the key amount. Then append the decrypted character to the decrypted underscore message variable. Reminder. The encrypted message, subit is a form of syntactic sugar in Lua. It's a convenient way to call methods on objects, making the code cleaner and more readable. The line encrypted message colon operator sub, I comma I, is a shorthand syntax in Lua that allows us to call the sub function on the encrypted message string object. This function extracts a substring from the encrypted message string, starting at index i and ending at index i. Essentially, it retrieves the character at position i within the encrypted message string. This shorthand notation is equivalent to calling string sub, encrypted message comma i comma i. Once the decryption is complete, print the decrypted message to the console. This script demonstrates a basic implementation of encryption and decryption using the Caesar cipher, with the added functionality of checking the current date to determine whether the message should be decrypted. As the sun sets on our tutorial's journey, the message, once encrypted, finds its key. 
With patience and time, its secrets unfold, revealing tales once hidden in the code. Through dates and keys, we've learned to discern the art of encryption, a skill we yearn. So let us bid farewell with knowledge in hand, ready to explore and understand. May our paths cross again in the realm of code, where mysteries unravel and stories are told. Until then, farewell with a fond adieu to new adventures awaiting me and you.